Wall Street Journal reporting that the FDA is laying the groundwork for the rapid review of Omicron-targeted vaccines and drugs if they turn out to be needed. Meg Terrell joins us right now with more, with more on this. And Meg, this is a quick response from the FDA. Yeah, you know, but it's not totally surprising, Becky. We had been expecting uh, that it could look like this. And essentially what the Wall Street Journal is reporting, citing sources familiar with the thinking at the agency, uh, is that the agency is likely to clear vaccines that are up, uh, updated similarly to how they cleared the booster shot. So using uh, antibody data from a few hundred subjects, not having to do these broad, multi-thousand people efficacy trials. Uh, the journal also reports the agency will make a decision in one to two weeks after the company seek authorization. So a pretty quick turnaround time there. Um, the journal also reports that uh, it's not yet clear from the FDA or from any guidelines how much the protection from the vaccines will have to diminish to actually pull the trigger to make an Omicron-specific vaccine. Uh, that's some reporting I've been doing as well, and I've heard the same thing from authorities. There has not yet been a threshold, you know, whether it will be based on the antibody data or from real-world observational data on uh, declining efficacy against this variant. We have not yet, of course, seen any of that, and we should get some of the first lab data toward the end of next week. Uh, but this does look like it'll be similar to how we clear boosters. And as you were saying earlier, this is the situation we have with flu shots. We understand the correlates of protection, how high the antibody levels need to be to protect against flu. We don't have that perfect correlate with COVID yet or SARS-CoV-2, um, but there is enough of an understanding, it seems from the regulators feel, uh, to be able to clear updated shots if needed. Guys? Meg, we were just trying to figure out if, if you have this Omicron variant vaccine, would it would you be able to... Um, combine it with other vaccines too, something that, like, or is this something you would get as a booster shot on top of the other ones? Because it, it's hard to imagine that it would be the only variant that's out there in a few months. That's a great question, and I think something that the drug makers are trying to parse through now. Does it make sense to just update this with the Omicron spike, for example, or to try to broaden the potential protection from these vaccines by designing some kind of, you know, hybrid vaccine that could cover against a lot of different mutations or variants? And then if they need to do that, how will it be decided what the construct of the vaccine should be? Is there going to be a different one from Moderna, a different one from Pfizer, BioNTech, J&J? &J? Will there be some decision from the top down what these constructs should look like? So all of this is kind of up in the air at this point. And toward the end of next week, as we get the first data on how well the vaccines are holding up, we should start getting, you know, at least some of those questions start to be answered. Right. Hey, Meg, in terms of manufacturing, one of the things I think Stephen Benzel and others have talked about is you do have to make the decision about when you're going to effectively switch from the, 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 the prior Delta vaccine to manufacturing this new one, whether it's strictly something that is focused on Omicron or somehow has a, a broader spectrum, if you will. When would that choice be made? Who makes that choice? That's another really good question. So if they decide they need to update the vaccines all of those answers need to be uh, decided upon in terms of what the vaccine looks like and then at what point you can switch the manufacturing. I suppose if you've decided you need a new vaccine and that is the one that's going to be deployed, by the time it is ready to start manufacturing, that's when you make the switch. Um, that should not take too long, it doesn't sound like. We heard from the Pfizer CEO, they can switch over within, I think, a few days into starting to manufacture, but then, of course, it takes some time to actually get enough doses. Um, and then who makes that decision? It sounds like at the journals reporting the FDA is in consultation with the World Health Organization and other authorities around the world to decide, you know, should we use new vaccines? Uh, and then, of course, when.